Hey YouTubers, Around the Bend Adventures here. We are getting ready to make some sleepwear for our feet during our backcountry adventures. We had some leftover climate shield and ripstop material that we made our under quilt and our top quilt out of. And so we are getting ready to make some little sleep um, booty. So you follow along and we'll show you how we're doing it. So this is how the foot box is gonna go together. Bottom, one layer, or two layers. Ooh. Here's that completed. Pretty decent. So, so yeah. that's the foot box that we used, or the the foot bed that we used for uh, for all of the um, the bottom sole pieces. We're not putting any additional soles in them. We don't plan on walking around. And then this is the second template that we used for the second piece that will go up and over this, and then we'll come around. The only change that we really made to this was that instead of going all the way up in here, I'll actually cut it over here so that it's a little bit longer of a foot. Um, to foot toe covering and then we've got one more piece that we will add for like <clears throat> around the ankle So we're gonna put that all together and then we will sew that to the footbed. So what we're gonna use for the collar of the booty. It's a 12 by 18 and a 17 by 15 piece of insulation. That's gonna go in there and we're gonna put a little bit of a stretchy cord around the top and hope that it works. Or am I supposed to do it like my wife? Hey, people! I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get in trouble for that. Um, so we've shown you different parts of this. Don't judge the sewing. We're by no means uh, professional, or I'm really not even at a level yet where I'd call myself amateur. But we made our top quilts. We made our under quilts. We had leftover material. Uh, we stayed out the other night. It's the Climate Shield Apex 3.5. Says it's not good for down to 40. 
Uh, we made it to 35 the other night and uh, 20 mile an hour breeze. We did pretty well. The quilts did great um, with heavy winter clothing, but our feet were cold. So uh, goose gear, uh, elemental hammock, they all make great uh, sleeping socks, far better than this, but we wanted to try to make them. So she's kind of showed you, we traced around her foot. Uh, we're going to put some pictures in there, but there's the dimensions we used. Um, this is for a uh, woman's nine. We added about an inch for a men's 10. 0.5 and about two inches all the way around uh, for a men's 12. Um, so you're going to take two pieces. Uh, this is the uh, rip stop, the Hyper D 1.0 rip stop. Uh, two pieces sandwiched together, sew all the way around the outside, and you get the footbed. Um, that's from that. And then we've got another piece here. Um, again, we'll have a picture with the dimensions. Uh, this is again for the woman's 9.5. So you have that piece, we sew it, sandwich it together, and this is the piece that's going to come up and over the edge and wrap around the back. Um, what we do, uh, and don't laugh at my sewing, is we flipped it inside, we sewed it, so we've got the foot piece here, and then we just kind of started and worked our way around the edge. I didn't know exactly how it was going to come out, so I started here, sewed down around the edge, and then did the same thing over here to make sure it lined up somewhere in the back, somewhere in the middle, somewhere off to the side. Um, and that gives you this, well, without that, it uh, comes to right there, kind of like this. It'll uh, come up over here and wrap around to the sides. Um, and then when you turn it right side out, if you've sewn it correctly, you get a nice pretty seam, but we've got some places it sticks out. It shouldn't affect the functionality, but it's ugly. Um, but that gives us this. Um, we've got a little slipper, but we there's nothing holding it tight and there's nothing coming up on your leg. So what we did next, um, we measured around here and uh, on the woman's nine, the men's 10.5, and minus somewhere the men's 12, it was right in the 16 to 18 inch range. Uh, and we wanted to come up about five or six inches. So we measured, I think it was 18. This isn't it, it's just a piece of tooling leather, but it was, it, it was like this, like uh, 18 inches and we came up 12 inches, folded it over so we had a good seam there. Sew this together and then measure Go up on your ankle from your ankle bone, four or five inches, and measure where you're at there. Then cut a, just a piece of this fabric tape, uh, elastic. Uh, I think hers was uh, eight and a half, nine inches. So measure a nine inch piece. You've got your piece there folded over and sewed. Tack that down and then stretch this to fit and then sew it. And then when you get done, you've got a little bit of elastic there. So we had that, then we shoved a piece of Clima Shield up in here, folded over the ends just so you had a, finally something's got a pretty end. And then this is the, the most tricky part. We just uh, laid it over like that and tried to sew this all, all the way around. I'm not sure exactly, there must be a way to do it differently on the sewing machine, but we just kind of stuffed it and sweared at it. And believe it or not, once you put it up, uh, it all held and if it comes around nicely it ends uh, right in the middle that one's kind of wonky that one's nice it ended up right over the seam and then where it came together we just sewed it and we're done this one is for my buddy he's coming over next week with any luck it's a little bit off with any luck we've got enough tolerance there we can just sew it up and it'll be done um, we did, this is the Climate Shield Apex 3.5, so it's relatively lightweight. So what we did do was on the foot box, we did two layers, fabric, insulation, insulation, and then the fabric. On this piece here, we had the fabric, we had one total layer of insulation, and then from here forward, we had another insulation. So it's a little bit more lofty and uh, more insulation in the foot box. Um, I think the one piece of advice I'd have for everybody 
is whatever you think you need. I mean, this is for a woman's 9.5. I wish I had one of her shoes right here, but it's way bigger. If it looks like it's bigger than you need, don't worry about it. Just go bigger. Um, these ended up relatively the same, but like these, these were from the same pattern. And if you're not a very proficient sewer, I found that stuff ended up very uh, mismatched in size because it doesn't get tucked in quite as well. And if you get any place where it's real tight, you know, it, it does away with any of the benefit you're going to get because you're not going to get that air trapped in there. Um, so again, it's a, it's a quick, rough video. It's super rough product, um, but we've been looking for a, a synthetic booty uh, plans or dimensions, something to make to try doing it at home. Didn't see anything on YouTube, so here's our, our best attempt. Uh, we head to Hazel Creek in the Great Smoky Mountains this weekend. It looked like it was going to be cold. Now it's saying overnight highs of 50, so maybe we'll never use them. But uh, this is our best attempt. I hope it helped. Um, if you have any questions, leave them down below, and we'll do what we can to try to help. Uh, enjoy. God bless. Thanks for watching. Also, ooh, wait a second. Also, for a little extra installation, installation, 